to a finish of double 16. On the main throw. Norris will just look to uh, try and do some damage here, though. Tops taking his time. Well, he's backing away because that 15 was only just in. It might have just slipped a little bit. But that he didn't slip. The first and leg. the emotion from Chuck is there from the very start. When he's in the mood, he is first. so aggressive. Three. It's like a gorilla just beating his chest and not letting you have a piece of that banana. Well, Norris is currently 20th 16. in the European Tour Order of Merit. He's frustrated with that one as well, but he may be one of these players feeling slightly more pressure than most because of the new rule brought in by the PDC concerning seeded players suffering a, a second round defeat. They take the prize money, but they don't have the prize money put on their ranking tally. It affects people. You just hear the chatter around the tour and the guys who are seeded, they, they do say, got to win today, got to make it count. 100. So he's managed to secure three third round places in this uh, European tour so, the, so far this year. So that's £9,000 towards his ranking. Well, Jamie 100. Bain hasn't quite got his dart shirts finished yet. I've seen the design, courtesy of his new manager, Matt Ward. 99. Something to do with a, a Batman villain called Bane. Rather, I am enlightened. Rather apt. So stay tuned for that. But I think he's missed a trick, you see. 45. Because we're in Austria. Go on. He could have had something to do with a Simpsons character called Rainier Wolfcastle, who was a, a more Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he's got a famous character in himself in The Simpsons called McBain. Now, Jamie's from Scotland, so Muck, and his name is Bain, so McBain. Is that just the nerd in me coming out? He clearly needs to have a word with him. <laughs> I, I, for one, am lost for words. Bain, double 12, double 6 to level things up. Sure one piece, on one break piece as well. Good response from Bain. Third leg, Jamie, to throw well, first. As per his Jamie. walk on song, nothing's going to bring me down. 115 checkout from Chuck in the first leg. Didn't bring him down because he snaps right back. Seven. Brings about a one-all. Jamie would have been at the venue today at a very similar time to his very close friend John Henderson, who's on next game. Both those guys from Northern Scotland. John from Huntley, which is in between Aberdeen and Inverness. Jamie from Aberdeen. Very proud of that as well. 100. Always likes to rub into me that he lives right next to a golf course. Yeah, some belters up there as well. Easy. And Jamie told me a very good story at the beginning of this season. Spent a bit of time with him at Q School, where he topped the points table. He said that he had his dart stolen a few seasons back. Easy. And it really messed with his head because he loves this set of darts. And they're almost irreplaceable. He couldn't get a replacement 60. set, so he had two of these ones and an odd one. And the person who accidentally on purpose <laughs> lifted the one that was missing it turned up sir. in the same place where he practices a few months later in the random box of darts so I think the person who took it accidentally on purpose had a conscience 59. Mm. and since he's got his darts back he's played genuinely better well he's not really hitting the heights of what he achieved yesterday so far but he's uh, in contention here it's been a very scratchy Radio leg from both ball, players. Down to 130 after 15 darts. Is that in? 48. Two treble 19s would have left the ball at 76. 83. And I'm rather puzzled by that dart. I thought he was going for treble 16. It wasn't really close to it. This is double top. 42, and you require 81. Now, Alan Norris should really be sitting on something a lot less than 81. I think he's frustrated with some of the decision making. But now, he knows he's got the ball. And he hits it. Sure the third, Alan Norris. 
Yeah. He made a mistake in the previous visit by not focusing on the trouble that he wanted, but he has rescued the situation. And that flick of the eyes Ball there Allen is a little sigh of relief, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Norris finishing today has been absolutely superb. 115 checkout in the opener for the break of throw. And then uh, another break of throw just there with the 81 checkout on the ball. 100. Well, he's got 88 left, Rob. OK. And he's... In my eyes, it looks like he's gone for a treble 19. I mean, have you ever seen the like? Because he'd already, I mean, he was in that zone, wasn't he? I think he may have just, the momentum may have just taken over. And Well, 88, 57 off 88 is 31. He's Which... not going for the treble 7. He's not, no, he's nowhere near the treble 16. And the guide that he had from the first star, it was a perfect one for a treble no, 19. I he's definitely been going for it, and I'm not sure why he did that. It is starting to bottom in this arena. It was very, very warm last night by the time we finished after the Rusty Jake Rodriguez show. 98. But Alan Norris should be comfortable in these atmospheres because he's won in hot atmospheres yeah. like this, just like Hildesheim last October. This time he's checking with the referee to see what he's got left. 66 scored. 78. Well, he squared it off nicely. Even that 78 brought a smile to the referee's face, George Noble. Probably saying, I've never seen 78 that way before, and I don't 36. think I have either. And you recall That's what you call a good miss on uh, trouble yeah. four, to leave 170. Now, if he takes this out, it'll be the greatest leave in the history of darts. Well, he won't because he hit trouble one, but uh, Bain's on a bogey number anyway. Sixty-two. Again, it's a patchy leg from both players. But Norris just about favourite here. And you have all 108. Yep. Sixty-eight. Jamie, you have all 111. This is a key shot. If he can take this, treble 17 would have left tops. You just get the feeling that. 79. Jamie Bain hasn't uh, got the mojo that he had yesterday. Tops for Norris, and he'll be 3-1 in front. Yeah, maybe the case is that uh, that win yesterday, that performance yesterday, just has taken something away from Jamie Bain. Double 10, though, for Norris here now. 30. And it just opens the door once again here. Jamie He's been Rick doing that a lot 32. over the last few weeks, Alan Norris. He's been missing key doubles, three darts in hand. This is tricky. 24. And he's furious with himself. himself. Maybe he should have switched on the hockey and just used a bit more room. He's got to rely on Norris missing. And he Why? is missing. Jamie, you're in for eight. eight. And you show to the full there it is. Jamie Bain shaking his wrists and hands. As if he's saying, Come on, let's get this going. And there's a reason why Jamie might be a little bit rattled today. I spoke to him yesterday after his match. 93. And happy as he was to get a great victory, he got the news that his dad was taken into hospital. And he was genuinely Easy thinking of flying home. Just goes to show what kind of a family man he is. But. The good news is that his dad's all right. And his dad's all right there as well. I know his fiance Paula will be cheering him on all the way back in Aberdeen. 55. It's a roller coaster when you watch your partner sometimes. And at the moment, Jamie is in front. 58. Boy, we've had four successive breaks of throw in this match already, two apiece. The checkout stats took a bit of a hammering in that last leg. 140, Jamie Paul, 170. 60. That's frustrating stuff from Jamie Bain because one visit he's brilliant, the next there's very little difference in the throw, but it's just so much on the wire. Jamie Paul, 110. Game of millimetres that we play here. Treble 18. Still needs that treble 18, but all of a sudden Norris has got a sniff. Yeah. 
78. And you require 81. Lovely first start, double 12. Some way off. Come on, is the cry from Alan Norris. And we have another break of throw, five on the spin. Well, yesterday we had a match with Jamie Lewis, didn't we? Uh, Dimitri Vandenberg, which yielded 11 holes of throw. Yeah, I wonder what the odds about. would have been on 11 breaks. Yeah, well, it could still happen. Another neat and tidy checkout from Alan Norris. And it's another yeah. neat and tidy start to the sixth leg as well. And these guys know each other very, very well. Mentioned before that Jamie lives in Aberdeen. Well, Alan, formerly known as the man from nowhere, lives in Bowness in Scotland. Six perfect darts for Alan Norris. The nine dart dream is alive once again here in Vienna. We came so, so close on four occasions in Hamburg last time on the European Tour. And now it all rests on the shoulders of Alan Norris. Can he find the Holy Grail? Seven perfect darts. End of the road once again. Well, it should be a hold of throw though for Alan Norris here. He's left himself double one though. Well, we know what boo is in German. It's boo. He does like a nine guard. He got a fair way to catch for hitting it at the players championship last year. He's 35 grand, I think it was. Double one though for a 4 2 lead. It's the first hold of throw, and that is, well, definitely more important than a nine dart finish for Alan Norris right now. No doubt about that whatsoever. These two, by the way, have met uh, a couple of occasions before. They met fairly recently, in fact, in the players' championship in the third round of one of the Pro Tour events. It was the eighth one of the year. Norris won that one 6 0. And he also uh, won it 6-4 when they met uh, a couple of years ago again on the Players' Championship circuit. And as things stand, it looks as though Norris will make it three out of three hits. Unless Bain can find a response. That's the second time, Rob, that I've seen a 10-dart leg finished on double one. The only other person to do that, from my recollection, is Michael Van Gerwen. 180, 139... 180, 180, 139 double one. It's one of those don't try it at home kids. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, if you can, give it a go. Not as easy as Alan Norris made it look. 94 for 11 dart leg. And the answer to the 10 Jamie is an 11. Great repost from Jamie Bain. Or, as I like to call him today in Austria, Rainier Wolfcastle. <laughs> well, it was nine perfect darts for Alan Norris if you include the two from the back end of the previous leg when he checked out on 81 with treble 19 and double 12 so nine perfect darts in a way the way we wanted to see it though. but Bain has got one back well just when you think Alan Norris has stamped his authority on the game Jamie Bain going back with a counter punch well it was important he held that and he did though for the first time in this match 140 we talk a lot of players around the circuit, you know, about the equipment that they use and the colours that they use on their flights and stems. It's very important 100. for their superstition and what they like to see in their eye line. Talking to Jamie, he's been using yellow stems and somewhat peach-coloured flights for ever. That's his favourite colour combination. Alan's only been using this colour combo for about a year now, 92. but in that year it's been fairly effective, he's won a couple of titles. Treble 17 would have left double 18, he's got 70 left. He'll come back for 60, but only if Chuck misses this 130. Well, treble 20 is found. Bullseye. 105. Jamie requires 60. And that means Bain has a terrific opportunity for a break of throw. Should get two darts at tops here to secure it. He only needs one. And that's a really good response by Jamie Bain. And this is bubbling into a really Jamie keenly fought encounter now. Game on. Oh, it's game on now because Jamie Bain's break there has wrestled the advantage from Chuck. Easy. He's now got the darts. If he can hold twice. He's through. Three breaks of throw apiece here. 140. So you suspect 
There might be one or two more twists and turns to come. Jamie Bain shading the averages, nothing oh, like what he was producing Fulty. yesterday. Well, the winner of this one gets Ian White or Martin Schindler. Martin Schindler, not too popular here yesterday when he was playing Roby John Rodriguez. Oh, you want? Damaging for Norris, that. So now, OK, it's on the Bain throw, but Bain is just building momentum here, looking for a third successive leg hit. Oh, in those three legs, he's played brilliantly. Oh, absolutely brilliant from Norris. Timely response, just putting Jamie Bain under a fair degree of pressure now. Well, just when you think you've got a bit of breathing space, he snaps that 180 in and changes, changes the complexion of the entire leg. Alan Norris looking at 140 for a very, very unlikely steal. He's got the first two, double 10. 120. Not to be, but he may return. That would have been 320 points and six darts. Double this could be 87 in three. He'll hope for bullseye. Oh. And it's there! Man from nowhere falls. And just to keep his throw, he finds a bit of brilliance from that pocket. 58. Three darts that he will love to watch back again. And again, crucially, it's another hold for Jamie Vane. And he's now one leg away. Three legs on the spin is one. What a brilliant checkout that was. 80. We have seen some really good finishing in this match. Norris with the 115 checkout setting the tone in the opener. 100. An 81 checkout on the ball from Norris as well, and that's uh, 87 for uh, Jamie Bain. Putting him in the ascendancy here. Well, in a funny sort of way, Rob, I think this is a more impressive performance than yesterday. Yeah. Because he's had to really get ready with it. He didn't start the match well at all, but he has found something inside himself to bring out his best stuff at the very right oh, time. And there's more of a fight. It's all clicking together now for Jamie Bain, and Alan Norris just has to keep pace as best he can here, and he's going the right way about it. That's a brilliant visit from Norris as well to get him down to a potential two-dart finish from there, but Bain is now 84 away, but he misses the treble 20 that would have left double 12, and Alan Norris, Paul Nicholson's got his head in his hands, more on that in a moment. Alan Norris now looking at tops. Double 10. 50. Well, well, well. The reason for my hands going above my head, it's the little eight that Jamie Bain hit there. Potentially damaging, but he should get two darts at tops. That was a long way off. Double 10. 36. Well, there's just tension. That it's tangible. Uh, it's absolutely on tangible 20. on the stage right now. Norris back in here at double 10 once again. Just get the feeling if Norris hits this, he's got the impetus. Now, double five, he missed before and he split it and he's thrown his darts in anger at the wall there. Jamie required 20. And he's left himself five anyway. Just wonder if he might have been better off just busting the score completely. Bain might not take out double ten. But he does take out double ten. And Jamie Bain having...